Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. So today I came on this morning and I let everyone know that I wasn't going to be able to actively day trade because I had to put my priorities with my business. Being a small business owner, um, you have to delegate these times to specific things. Today's priority was my business, not trading stocks. Although that being said, let me share the screen. Sharing the moneymaker. So today I took two trades. Now, it was very easy to do this because I was working, obviously. I was away from my computer. I saw, I set my alerts, which is pretty simple to do nowadays. Um, it doesn't matter what platform you have, you can set alerts um, on all of them. And if you can't set alerts, then they're just absolutely trash. So anyway, I set alerts for um, a couple of things. One of them was levels on the S&P 500. Um, these levels, I don't know if you watched my video from this morning, but on my Twitter channel, at Mr. Green Bar, I went over this morning, I posted a chart very, very early this morning before probably anybody was awake, the important price levels to watch. Also, the current trend that I saw the last five trading days in the S&P 500. We are very clearly trending down. So if you go on at Mr. Greenbar on Twitter, you can see the chart that I posted probably at like five o'clock Eastern Standard AM this morning that mapped out all these important levels. So I set alerts to notify me, which went right to my phone uh, of when certain levels were hit. And I put on two trades. One of the trades I'll go over with you did not work out, stopped out of it for a loss. The second trade, was a very nice win um, with the S&P 500. And that gave us a profit for the two trades of $33. Not life-changing money, I understand. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So here we go. Where am I? Let me show you what I was looking at this morning, this is what I took a, I took a picture of this and posted it on Twitter. These were the important price levels, right? So we had our low of the last five days. We had our high of the last five days and then a trending line that was absolutely on point. Now I made this trend line before it hit here, which tells you, right, when I posted, you guys can look this morning, I posted this before this was here. Okay, so once something comes up and hits your trend line, and actually bounces off of it, you know, that you are going to be continuing this um, descending trend in the overall market. So this had a magnet on our low that we set four trading days ago. As you can see, it, it literally came down to it and bounced off of it a little bit. So tomorrow is going to be very interesting. If we break this level, we're in for a world of hurt. Not literally, but just be mindful of it, that it could happen. So anyway, we posted that this morning on Twitter. I was focusing on my other business, but I was able to take two trades. Let's go over the loser. Yeah, this is what I thought was going to happen. 
So the reason why I took this trade is obviously in New York, uh, weed is going to be legalized. Okay. That is a huge catalyst. So once I saw right here that we made a higher low than right here, I felt comfortable getting in. And then I set a price target for 1820. Why did I set a price target for 1820 on this? which I set on my phone an alert. It never hit my alert, but it hit my stop out, which was two cents under the previous low. Because I thought um, if we made a lower low, we were headed for way lower, um, but it never got up. It, it hit 18, 17. So three cents off of my level that I had to take profit on because I always set my target to um, right here, I'll show you guys. I always set it right under the previous high. I do that in case of a double top, in case of uh, resistance. I just want to take my profit before it gets there. It didn't quite get there, but it was still the right idea. I am not mad about this trade at all. I would take this trade a million times over, even though it was a loser. Um, and, you know, I could have actually taken the scalp here, but my profit target was 1820. It is what it is. It doesn't always hit perfect. So anyway, we took our stop out, took the loss of $23. Now, the second and final trade that I took, once I got alerted of price levels around here, I bought a one out of the money. So at this point, I bought the 390 um, put and took my profit right here, which is the low of right here. And the reason why I felt comfortable is very simple. You can see this. Clear as day, once we made a lower high, I felt comfortable going long. Why didn't I go long right here for the break of the low? Because you're not, that's not a good entrance. You have to wait for the bounce and then you enter. Your risk um, will be much less, right? And um, you won't get stopped out. It doesn't just continue to go on forever. There's always bounces along the way. Once you realize that, you will become a much better entrance trader and accuracy trader. It just takes patience. Because right here, when I saw these big red bars going and we were about to break lower, do you think I wanted to take a trade here? Yeah, and the rookie me probably would have done that. But being smart now and consistent, we wait to the right entrance. It's literally as simple as that. Um, I would have entered this all the way up to this top trend. It didn't even get there, which is even better because of uh, it was just smacking against VWAP. And then it continued to sell off. I took my profit here, which I was happy about. What did I get? So $56 of profit right here um, while I was operating my own business, not even watching and just having alerts was very nice. So anyway, today was a, a green day, not bad. Um, I hope that you guys did not get caught long in any of this. And I hope that you guys are following my Twitter channel so that you can see what I'm posting and the important price levels I'm posting because these things tend to have magnets towards them. I mean, if we broke this, we're a magnet down to this. Look at this. You think this is just a coincidence that it's bouncing off of here or that it's trend, hitting the trend or we're in a downward trend like this? I mean, I don't find it, um, what's it called? Whatever I'm trying to say. I just, this is why I like technical analysis. I find if you get good at this, your entrances are much better. 
so that your risk managing management is much better. If you enter at the right time, if you get stopped out, your chances of it being way more are way less. Um, so anyway, that, that's it guys. Just wanted to come on here, give you the update to trades. Um, and that was it. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day and week, and I'll see you back on the next video. Take care guys.